Welcome back to Tipping Point. I'm your host, Kara McKinney. I don't know what's wrong with Germany. And hey, I'm German too, so no hate here. But how come everything bad seems to come from over there? And I don't just mean historically, because that would be too easy. Low hanging fruit and all that. But for, say, Catholics watching what's going on with the German bishops, then you know what I mean. Also add to that list Klaus Schwab, cultural Marxism with the Frankfurt School, Angela Merkel's model of suiciding her nation through mass migration, and now a pro-pedophile activist group getting the German parliament closer to accepting their children's rights petition, an oxymoron if there ever was one. Basically, what Redux Magazine is reporting is that the founder of the lobby group, Crumb 13, has been successful after more than four years to quietly secure enough votes in the Bundes dog for his proposed amendment to change the country's constitution or basic law. The change sounds innocuous enough and that's how they get you. The Article 6 basic law change would read as follows, children should be viewed as legal subjects with their own rights. How's that a problem you might be asking yourself? Well, read it in light of the fact that this group openly promotes lowering the age of consent and in legalizing child porn and now reread it. Children should be viewed as legal subjects with their own rights. It also includes text saying that kids have the right to have a say in all matters that affect their emotional, mental, and physical well-being, and the right to the free development of their personality. Do you hear the similarities between that and the Dr. Alfred Kinsey talk that a lot of our modern queer theory is based upon? That kids are sexual beings and therefore should be allowed to make their own decisions regarding sex and sexuality without their parents being able to protect them from predators. That's what all the transing is about. If literal kids can pick their own gender, their own sexuality, and, w and whether or not being rendered sterile forever is worth taking hormones at age nine, then basically what the left is laying the groundwork for is to see that these kids know enough about sex to be the sole arbiter for themselves over decisions regarding it. And therefore, any attempts by their parents to protect them from this evil world is violating their civil rights to be autonomous. It appears this petition was finally formalized last month in October, though I'm not an expert at German law, so I'm not sure if their president or a chancellor has to sign it or something, or if it's a done deal now. I don't know. I'll keep you updated on that. But how terrible that children are now an accessory for adults in the West, like a pet or a new gadget that we get to play with. We have growing political momentum as we're talking about for pedophilia, the turning of children into sex objects to satiate the perverted desires of some adults. We're also, we also trans the kids at the whims of certain adults in their lives. We kill them in the womb when they're not convenient for certain adults or rip them away from their mothers through surrogacy or leave them frozen in an IVF Petri dish when we do want them, but on our terms once again. And now the UK government just kills them outside the womb too. Eight-month-old baby Indy Gregory has now been killed at the hands of Universal Healthcare. Not only did they reject offers from the Vatican for treatment and offers from the Italian government to make the baby their citizen and to provide her treatment for her rare degenerative mitochondrial disease, but the death panels also told the parents their baby had to die under the bright and unforgiving fluorescent lights of the hospital surrounded by their daughter's scrub-wearing executioners instead of at home in bed. It's not that her parents wanted her taken off the ventilator to die at all, but only that if she had to die because the government said so, they wanted it to at least be more comfortable and intimate. The child's father said he wasn't religious, but the evil he saw in the court system during this whole fight made him feel the pull of hell. LiveSite News reports, quote, When I was in the court, I felt as if hell pulled at me, said Dean Gregory, Indy's dad. I thought that if hell exists, then heaven must exist too. It was like the devil was there, he told an Italian newspaper. I thought that if the devil exists, then God must exist too. I've seen what hell is like, and I want Indy to go to heaven. In fact, Dean says that he's decided he should also be baptized. We want to be protected in this life and go to heaven. Dean praised the testimony of a Christian volunteer who has visited Indy every day and who told him that baptism opens heaven's gates. He also noted the work of his legal team provided by the Christian Legal Center, end quote. At least there is some silver lining here, so let's pray for the repose of baby Indy's soul and for her bereaved and grieving family. Joining us now to discuss is former law enforcement officer Mike Puglis, the founder of the Puglis Law Firm. Mike, thanks for being here tonight. Sarah, thank you for having me. Yeah, um, let's pray. That's all we have to do is per uh, persevere in, f in prayer. You know, governments, when they're confronted, and globally we're seeing this, governments across the globe, uh, when they're confronted with good and evil, they disregard good and they always seem to choose evil. 